Hello everyone, this is Glenn with the Southern Delta Church of Wicca, ATC, here in Lake City, Arkansas. Today I am out here in the community garden. It's about 7 o'clock p.m. Sun is starting to go down. So they, we got shade all over the garden right now. It's a really good time to water everything. So if you've been keeping up with the channel, then you know we have these uh, little water spigots that are on every one of the beds and though they provide very good watering and irrigation throughout the garden every once in a while we like to change it up simulate a little bit of rain and to do that we're going to use a garden hose and it also gives a chance to water things like the blackberry bush that's growing on the fence so it's been very hot here in Lake City, Arkansas, upward of 90 degrees constant. And uh, some of the plants are showing a lot of wilt. You got uh, leaves that just uh, don't want to look perky. And some of it is because the uh, plants are starting to run their course. They produced most of everything that they're going to produce for the season. We got more plants that are coming in as the older ones are going out. But everything still needs a good cool down watering this afternoon. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and disconnect the water spigot that goes, or the line that goes all the way to the irrigation system go ahead and hook up this water hose make sure it's good and tight Okay, so the sprayer is ready to go. I had to go ahead and get it all lined out throughout the garden before I hooked it up because I want the, the water to fill it up. I'm going to start at the back first. We got it set on shower. And that'll be okay for when I'm up close, but getting over to the blackberry bush, that's going to take a little bit of jet. There you go. So, yeah, even though, even though there's a, a plenty of water that's getting to the roots of the plants, it's always good to have the plants have a, a simulated rain come through and that's what this provides you don't actually have to beat the plant up with the energy of the water just get the leaves good and wet get the stalks wet like that tomato that I'm spraying right now it gets plenty of water that I can promise but the leaves they look pretty wilty because it's it's, it's been in the mid 90s with uh, heat indexes of over 100, direct sun, um, lots of humidity, but no rain. So let's go ahead and switch back to shower because we can reach everything now. It's going to give everything a real good water down. So we've had a lot of people coming together in the community to help our cause to feed the need. We get about 15 people a day that show up to our vegetable stand and pantry. They take what they need and some people they'll donate produce. We've had anonymous donations. We've had 
uh, donations where we know who was, who it was that did it. And uh, we are very thankful out of everyone who is coming together to help. If you're interested in making a donation to our community garden project, our pantry, our vegetable stand, there will be links in the description below. Go down there and check them out. And you can get in contact with us here at Southern Delta Church of Wicca. So while we're talking about that, I'll go ahead and uh, and show you something. So we recently got a good donation by one of our church members for brown paper bags and the type of paper that they're made of sometimes is used in packaging like from Amazon and I know a lot of people use Amazon shipping FedEx and if you got pets and you're probably going through Chewy online and when they when they ship things through the mail they, they like to use that brown plastic or not plastic but brown cardboard like paper they just ball it up it's a little it's a little bit uh, thicker than you know notebook paper or something like that but all of these things are really good for our compost because whereas we use things like eggshells and all of the produce that uh, doesn't make it, people don't uh, get it in time, it goes bad. We bring it over here so it don't just go in the trash. Everything goes right back into the garden this way. And there's a box in there now, but cardboard is very difficult to break down quickly. And it's good for a long-term browning, but uh, this stuff right here, this is what I'm talking about. This is a brown lunch bag. Just a paper lunch bag, you know. You pack your kids lunch, you go to school, you go going to work, and... You want to put a sandwich in there, you know, hey, you use that. But this stuff is really good for when you're composting at home. You can fill one of these things up with, uh, you know, the unwanted parts of your dinner, like your heads of lettuce, the stems off your bell peppers, uh, tomatoes that you just didn't eat, so on and so forth. Bananas are really good. Please put bananas in it. It's really good. That potassium is awesome for the soil. But anyway, if you fill one of these up, well, by the time it gets full, you would start to know the odor, and you'll want to take it out. Whereas the larger bags that you get at the grocery store, they take time to fill up. And not to say don't use them. Please do. Please do. But uh, yeah, those are really good for composting here at the community garden or anywhere if you got your own garden going on that's great I hope you do I completely encourage it but if you're interested in making a Browns donation for uh, the community garden it does help it does help because we put all of that into that compost pile and come next spring when we amend all of this soil here in the garden it's going to be some very potent dirt get back to watering this cucumber plant right here is pretty much done it's uh it's all brown i'm gonna have to rip it out tomorrow um yeah that's that's all done even though this part's green it, like i said it gets plenty of water down there at the bottom they all get water but it's just so hot man this heat I mean, I wouldn't want to be standing out in direct heat, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, sun beating you down, and neither do they.
this is another one I'm gonna have to pull the rest of the uh, produce there's only one tomato left on it I'm gonna pull that off tomorrow and then go ahead and pull that out and put that in the compost tomorrow's gonna to be a big composting day and you see down there I got a lot of new growth going on uh, little baby cucumbers coming up and starting to really uh, uh, bush out a little bit vine out that's what we want that that was planted and another one was planted right there that was planted to replace this one that's going brown because we knew it was uh, it was about time the cucumbers over there are looking real good the thing that has been the absolute uh, hardest hurdle to uh, get over this year were the bugs. Yeah, I can see why crop dusters are flying over all the time for those uh, those big fields. You know, it's not so much for fertilizer, even though they do it with crop dusters. But man, you gotta you gotta get rid of those bugs, stink bugs. I can't believe it was stink bugs that did it. They got all over uh, many sets of cucumbers, and the worst was the zucchini plants. I had four full-grown zucchini plants that got just wiped out by stink bugs. But that's okay, because the garden is still thriving, still looking good. Yeah, it needs a really good cool off. This this is going to really cool these plants off good. Make them perk up a little bit. I want to come out here in the morning and and see our plants happy. Leaves not looking like they're going to die. And with this heat this way, you just got to do this. This plant's happy. I love the smell of tomato plants. It doesn't even have to be a tomato on it. You just walk up and you smell the leaves and it just smells so good. There's another cucumber plant. We got one on there. I saw it this morning. But it ain't it ain't right yet. It ain't done. Got another one going down there. And that's this brown one. This brown one, it's... Uh, It's about had it, but it ain't over yet. It ain't over. Or no, this uh, this is the, I think this is the zucchini squash. Kind of looks like zucchini, but it's squash. Here's the bell peppers. Bell peppers have been doing real good lately. You see that right there? Again, that was another one that I had some difficulty with with the bugs. The bugs were eating our bell peppers up faster than they were getting green so been using seven dust on them works great people been telling me to uh, use uh, a spray bottle with Dawn dish soap and vinegar if y'all have had any luck with that y'all put it down in the comment let me know what kind of luck y'all have had with that because so far uh, uh, the bugs, they just been, they seem like they, they kind of bust right through that stuff. Especially once the rain comes through and kind of dissolves everything. Well, we got a lot of tomatoes. I knew we would, too. Many tomato plants. We started off with 24 tomato plants. Had to replace a few. You get those horn worms on the tomato plants. But yeah, that's seven dust. It it knocks it all off. Those horn worms and those those worms that, that get around the stalks and just eat the plant up. They didn't like none of that stuff we put on there. I hear that you're not supposed to do this in like the middle of the day or probably after 10 o'clock a.m. 
when the sun's starting to beat down on them. I hear that it's, uh, it's two problems that happen. And, and if I'm wrong, y'all let me know. I would love to hear y'all's opinions on this. But I hear people say in different places that the sun will dry it out too quick. And you're wasting water that way. And I also say that it will overheat the, the plant because the water droplets are like little magnifying glasses to the sun and you burn the plant up. I don't know. I just like to be safe and wait until there's a lot of shadow over the garden. I do rather wa like to water everything in the, in the evening when the sun's going down. Although, I also hear that uh, if if you do that too often, the uh, the roots, they get too much water because soil don't have enough time to dry out. Now that might be true in some places, but I don't know if that's true here because Lake City used to be a lake, used to be a big swamp. Like we're, we're right at uh, the bottom, as far, as far down as you could go. So, all the water drains out real quick. I have seen flooding come through Lake City, and within a matter of hours, maybe two, you see all that water just gone. It's like it just dissolves, because the soil ain't nothing but sand. Water table's very shallow, and we got the river just right over there. The levee's just right beside us, so. It's one of the problems doing this, though. You get hung up on the little spigots. So you gotta be careful coming back through. Because even though this is a good idea to do this, do not need to break any of those water spigots because it was a lot of work putting them in. And if one of them breaks, I got to get in there and repair everything. That would be a pain. Next year, we're going to end up uh, improving it. We're going to see some improvement in it. It can be part of the growing season preparation while everything's still cold. I like to do things when it when it's still cold outside. And way you ain't gotta do it in this heat. I, I bet the plants probably think something similar. It's a little bit cooler, they like to grow a little bit better. You see that water dripping off that tomato, that looks so pretty. about to show you something really cool right there see that big grasshopper oh, he's moving that is a monster grasshopper if I could catch him I would I take him over there and uh, feed him to the bearded dragons they love them all right that's going to do it for this episode of the pagan gardener if you have not done so already please consider going ahead and hitting that subscribe button click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of the new content coming out and give this video a thumbs up share it on social media tell your friends about it tell your friends about what we're doing here at the Southern Delta Church Wicca in Lake City, Arkansas. We're doing our best to help feed our community. Trying to provide uh, a safe place with dignity for people to just stop on by anytime they need to and take what they need. Because if they're hungry, you know, 
they need help. So until next time, for the Pagan Gardener, blessed be.